Hello everyone, and welcome back to my transgalactic trek in Elite Dangerous, and we're still here at Kakandi in Darbo Terminal, but a lot has changed since last time I recorded an episode, and that's because I've been doing a lot of trading and some preliminary exploring with the detailed surface scanner to see how much uh, credits I get. I even tried out the Cobra Mark III, I sold the hauler and tried out the Cobra Mark III, and I concluded I simply don't have the credits to actually outfit it properly. So uh, the equipment for that costs a lot more than the equipment for the hauler. Uh, it's possible that my my reputation with certain factions might also affect the equipment that I was able to access. So that's another thing. But because I mean, obviously, you don't get all the equipment all over the place. I tried searching for some, but it, it just wasn't working out with the numbers. Especially my jump range, I couldn't get it to where I wanted it to be. But anyway, I've uh, used some of the cash I got from exploring and also trading just around the local area in order to upgrade certain things. I've got a C-Class power plant, uh, so that should help with the overheating. Um, thrusters are good. A frame shift drive I got back to uh, A-Class and uh, life support I still have pretty low. But the other light support systems uh, av available around here are a little bit heavier. And basically I've uh, tried to strip out anything that uh, was extra weight and increase my jump range to the maximum possible. And so no pulse laser. And I picked the lightest equipment I could. Uh, fuel scoop is uh, class D3. Um, I, I, I keep forgetting which one is class and rating. Uh, but I've uh, concluded that the 3 is more important than the D, I think. Uh, so it's like uh, 3 is uh, better than 2. And then first you look at that, then you look at A, B, C, D, E, even though it looks like it should be the other way around. Anyway, uh, detailed surface scanner as expected, shield generator. So otherwise, I can't afford any upgrade to the discovery scanner, but that's what we're aiming for now. Right now, I am saving up in order to get a better discovery scanner, specifically the advanced discovery scanner, which costs about 1.5 million. We have 200,000 credits here. Uh, the insurance value of the ship is 24,000 now. I've done a little bit of exploring, like I said, so you can see the profits from exploration there. I have no idea what level 2 or level 3 detailed scans are. Uh, Try looking at the forums, but I'm not entirely sure about what that's all about. But I've actually gotten... Uh, I'm sorry to say that I actually uh, jumped ahead a little bit. I actually got credit for uh, being the first to explore certain systems uh, just around the local area. And so that's something I've done. Basically, you have to come all the way back and uh, sell it to Universal Calligraphics in order to get credit for that. But let's head out. So with the new fuel scope, I've uh, discovered that I can stay a good distance away and do the scooping while flying thing. Also, the fact that, that my systems don't constantly overheat helps. And that's because of uh, the power supply. Okay, so I haven't really decided where to go yet, but we'll talk about that. So, yeah, what I wanted to show was 68% uh, usage now, so much lighter on that. Of course, uh, dumping the pulse laser helps. But, uh, yep. The situation is as you see it, no cargo bays, and about as light as can be. Alright, so talking about where we're gonna go, obviously headed towards the galactic core, but we're planning to turn around and come back in order to get the value for our discoveries. But we're probably gonna have to go pretty, I've gauged how much discovery we have to do before we can actually uh, get the advanced uh, discovery scanner. So we're gonna have to go a pretty pretty long ways anyway. A lot of this stuff uh, close to Kakandi has already been discovered. So I'm gonna plot somewhere far far away and we're just gonna head towards that. Let's make sure that navigation is going with the fastest routes. I'm trying to... maybe I should go a little bit closer in here. I haven't really gone this this way yet. I don't want to hit stuff that I've already done. Okay, so I've plotted a route for that star. It's just a G83. Though that's that means it's a giant of some kind. It looks a little bit big. A lot of these will be lucrative for us. The ones that aren't obviously, you know, named or blue or anything like that. Because people wouldn't have uh, gone there 
quickly. They'll aim for the B types and all. And so I can uh, perhaps get credit for finding those. Now you get the you get the funds. I say funds. That's a Kerbal Space Program thing. You get the credits whether or not somebody else found it before you. So that's interesting. But but it'll be sweeter if I can actually get credit for discovering the system. So that's my goal. I'm not going to. Uh, search deeply into the system unless I'm gonna get credit for discovering those things. So if somebody else has been there before me, I'll just move on. So that's my plan. We'll just scan the stars unless there is an indication that nobody else has been there before. You do get extra credits if you are the first to discover something, so that's nice. Not much though. They really should up that a bit, perhaps. Okay, let's ch check whether somebody else has been here before. I'm sure somebody has. It's so close to Kakandi. Yeah, Fremen Wisser. And so if somebody else has discovered it, they're gonna get uh, credit on the. Uh, these videos as well. Okay, next place. And I found the place to be a lot busier these days. So further out I've been getting interdictions than I used to get. And I think that probably has something to do with the exploration stuff too. Drive charging. Somebody, that guy's flying pretty close to me isn't he? Oh, here we go. This is what I mean. Yeah, I know, but I can't engage because I'm getting interdicted in the middle of a jump. Which is not very nice of these people, but that's how it is sometimes. Oh, well, I guess I can. I didn't realize you could do that in the middle of an interdiction. That's pretty tricky. Okay, this doesn't look like a particularly good uh, place to scoop fuel. So, just waiting. There is another ship there. I'm just gonna move on. If that guy hasn't discovered this place already, I'd be surprised. Okay, let's just move on. I don't like ships flying around these days. Okay. Okay, skies are sort of clear. No, there's, there's a ship there. Dang it. Just parking out waiting. Okay, I'm gonna jet. A little bit of en route fuel scooping here. Just a little bit. I'm not hanging around for that guy to interdict me. Now, in my exploration and trading, I haven't actually been uh, blown up or anything. I did get. Uh, there are plenty of interdiction attempts, but I never actually died. Got banged up. Uh, I did get successfully interdicted once, but I escaped, so. Oh, now this is a good star to scoop up some fuel around. Let's uh, give a pulse out. There's another ship there. Three new objects, but uh, let's just uh, move right along. Uh, I'd like to scoop a little bit more around here if we can avoid getting busted by that guy. Not exactly the flyby scooping I was hoping to get, but uh, well, since that guy isn't trying to hunt me down, let me just quickly take a look at who got credit for this system. 
Discovered by 1%. Okay. Okay, that's enough fuel scooping for me. Let's see our target. Fuel scoop disengaged. So yeah, not so much overheating anymore. Much better. You'll notice I have redistributed my power to engine and systems since I obviously don't even have a weapon, so what's the point? This doesn't look like a particularly good place to fuel scoop. Um, did anybody else discover this yet? We're a little bit far out now. Oh, interesting system. Yeah, Nuru, Nuruodo, Nuruodo. Okay, well, somebody's done this one before, so proceeding. I'll still get a trivial amount of cash for just discovering, uh, just uh, pinging the star, if you will. I won't say discovering. Just sort of getting a scan of the star. I guess they want uh, multiple reference points or something like that. Okay. Probably should scoop some from around here. Let's see what else is around here. Huh? Three objects. Has anybody done this system before? Yep, Wolfgart. Okay, so we got that. Let me just quickly check how far along we are. We're at 300. Okay, that's fine. So, I mean, basically, I guess we'd have to get uh, through 500 before we can really find some stuff people haven't already discovered so no big surprise where is the oh it's on the other side anyway okay so let's do some fuel scooping well now I'm overheating well, as long as I don't take any damage it's fine by me fuel scooping complete uh, okay, I'm doing bad things again. Fuel scoop disengaged. All right. Always pushing the limits on stuff. All right, here we go. Next place. Friendship drive charging. Okay. Well, nothing great around here. Let's see if it's been done before. No, it hasn't. Okay, so this is our first system where we might get credit for it. All right. Unfortunately, there is not much to it. At least uh, there was only one star, and I pinged it, and there aren't any other planets. So, uh, downside of that, but we'll get exploration credit for uh, the name of the pilot is Fletcher Wilson. Again, name of a character from... Uh, a book I wrote. Okay. And how about you? Well, nothing on that ping. Let's see what the system looks like. Ah, uh, laser bolt already got here. All right. And there's a ship. I guess if it gets discovered, maybe they start populating with uh, with NPC ships. I mean, is somebody really hanging out in this location? Doesn't seem like a great place to be hanging out. And I find it amazing that they happen to be here right when I get here. So I'm suspecting NPC populations here. Okay, will you be a lucrative system? Let's find out.
So the plan is, once I get the advanced advanced discovery scanner, then I'll be able to head straight out for the galactic core. I'll still use the hauler. I think that's probably the it's probably the best ship to use, uh, at least at my price level. So, okay, well, come on, scan away, scan away. Uh, Galley K. Discover this first. Okay, so moving right along. Okay. Now the way I figure it is, as you can see, I've uh, done how many systems already? I've been to 201 systems now, but my total, my total profit from exploring was only 341,000. So I figure, well, now with the detailed surface scanner, it's a little bit different. So I think about 300 systems is probably necessary before I go back and try and get the advanced scanner. So, uh oh, I hear somebody. So I think that's the situation. Ah, uh, this one's been discovered. Vaxalon. Okay. Let's head out before we, tr we get exploded. Okay, probably pass. Oh, here we go. I know there's probably ways to reduce my signature and all that stuff and you know this options to run silent and stuff but but I guess getting interdicted is sort of something to keep me awake so yeah Okay, and who discovered you? Damnit Keith. Okay, fair enough. So we proceed. So you can see how far out we have to get before actually hitting something. And I, I didn't pick a B-type star or anything like that to target. Uh, let me do some fuel skipping here. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going a path where I would expect it to be less... Okay, this is bad. For some reason, it's easier to do it around brighter stars. Okay. Oh? Oh no, Jack Wild got that. Mm, well, no, he's got the stars. The asteroid belts I don't think you get credit for, I'm not sure though. Let me just give it a little ping of to see if there's any other planetoids around. Is there anything that he didn't? I, I'm sure uh, Everybody's got an advanced discovery scanner now. No, it's all it's all asteroid belts anyway. Okay. All right. So next place. How far along are we? Uh, we're at 460 now. So we're clipping right along thanks to uh, the fact that uh, the heating doesn't kill me quite as readily now. And my fuel scooping is a little bit uh, better thanks to the better fuel scoop. So, speaking of which, let's do a little bit of scooping on the way to this star. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop okay, here we go. Frameship drive charging. Three, two, one, engage. Yeah, I'd say that uh, 
doing the journey I did in the previous episode, trying to see how fast I could get through the light years, I think I could probably do a better job now, thanks to the better equipment. Hmm, lots of stars around here. But discovered Jack Wild. I'm going the same route as Jack Wild, apparently. Maybe we should pick a different route. Because I think I'm retreading somebody else's discovery path. And that's not a good thing ever. Let's aim for this one. Well, I guess we're only one jump away from my original target anyway. Alright, let's go to my original target, even if it might be the same place that Jack Wild went. Could be Jack Wild went for the A-type star. Okay, so this is a yellow giant, G-type giant. Somebody's probably discovered it already. Was it Jack Wild? No, Sheena Fox. Sheena Fox discovered it. Then there aren't any other stars. So, like I said before, we really are a little bit behind on the discovery stuff. And I want to catch up, but which way is the best way to go to do that? I guess going towards this side is probably the wrong idea. Let's just head for this one right now. Divert towards what was really my original course was this side. And then... Yeah, I think this is more like where I was originally headed. Though actually I was a little bit deeper on this side. Something like that. Let's let's find a B type star, heck. If we're gonna fail to be the first people to discover something, let's just uh, get credits for a really special star. It's an A9. A9 is pretty good. And I like, like the Scutum Dark region. That sounds. But the, uh, we're going like. Uh, more than a hundred light years in this direction. That's not right. Let's go for this one. Seems pretty good. Relatively straight course. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see if this is one I should take care of. Nope. Back on the track of Damn It Keith. Snake Sector. Snake Sector sounds good, but it also sounds like something a lot of other people would have passed through. Who wouldn't like to discover something in the Snake Sector? Oh no, that Snake Sector is the next one. This is Pipe Bowl Sector, still. Well, still, Tim Erbsington. Erbsington. Tim Erbsington. Okay. Wow, we have to get uh, quite a ways away before we get any sort of... We, we hit one sector that uh, nobody had been to before early on, but uh, that one only had a star and nothing else. So, I guess the more stars it has... Oh, let's do some fuel scooping. We've, we're a little bit low. Okay, I think I can sort of try and top it off here. So basically, I'm, I'm going to keep this episode going until I find something where we actually discover something. 
and it's a worthwhile discovery. And that is my plan. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it all down to a decent level, but I'm gonna plug away here. It's funny, uh, just a little while ago while I was... Just a little while ago while I was doing exploring around Kakandi, I found plenty of systems that were that were uh, unexplored that I could get credit for. But not so much on this track for some reason. I guess a lot of people strike out instead of just hanging around locally. Well, obviously there's at least one more star that we could pretty easily pick up. Yep. Let's see. Uh, oh, unexplored. Not bad. Bunch of stars here. Well, there's a start. I wouldn't, uh, without any planets, I'm not going to say that this is great or anything. But, uh, hey. That looks okay. Uh, let's uh, take a look at that one. Okay, now where are the other ones? go around this belt just as a first approximation of where they might be tough to see this close to the well then again it's sort of sort of filtering out the stuff that isn't bright enough but yeah it's tough to see close to these two stars Okay, let's get a little bit further away first. Okay, we're beginning to be able to see the background stars. Without those, it's tough to see what's really a potential target and what isn't. We're not looking for any blue stars. They're all pretty dim. That that yellow one looks sort of candidate-like. Well, let's see in context with these two. Whoa, we're going way too fast. These two are here. That, that looks like a candidate. That's definitely something. Of course, the trick is that I only get credit for discovering this system if I'm not only the first one to be here, but I also end up being the first one to get back with the data to, uh, to Universal Cartographics and sell the data. So that's sort of the balance here. Then again, I'll still get uh, the basic credits for exploration, so that's okay. It's also conceivable that somebody was here before me and simply hasn't gotten back to take credit for it. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me do just one more ping around here. Okay, nothing. Let's see, what was the last star look like? What did the last star look like? Hmm. About as dim as can be. Okay, well, that's gonna be tricky. Class L Dwarf. I'm trying to see if anything is moving with respect to the background. But let me get away from this star first. Wait. That's a pretty pretty bright red dot, isn't it? Well, let's go let's see if it uh, moves around. Yeah, I think it does, it does move around with respect to the background. Let's head for it. Yeah, 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 that's that's the one. Might not be alone either. Well, our velocity is going down. String of lights coming from that uh, red star. You can see three little dots there. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Well, let's start with the star first. Okay, that's done. Okay, this looks like a binary system. Let me get close to the other one. Are these two binary in the same orbit? Yeah, I think they are. Wow, so they're like perfectly balanced. They've got the berry center right at the middle of the two of them. That's gotta be pretty rare. I would think, because they'd have to be pretty much exactly the same mask, right? I think so. Not much of a texture on them, I have to say. They're just gray blobs. Oh, well, I'm going to fly right between them. Uh, let's see uh, what the details are, since we've scanned them and we have a detailed surface scan and everything. What's with these gray blobs? Icy planet, icy planet, nitrogen. So it's just uh, a lot of nitrogen, ice, rock, metal. I don't know. Well, can't tell the ice from the rock from the metal. Okay, scan complete, and that leaves us with two more items. This is all probably icy stuff. I mean, the closest planets were already icy. So, I don't expect any suddenly terrestrial features, nothing habitable, certainly, around a Class L dwarf. Interesting that the Class L dwarf is the one that has the planets, and the other, other stars in the system couldn't be bothered to have anything around them. I see planet. Okay, and the last one. What's this? Oh, okay. It's going, what is that? That's the binary system. Okay, yet another icy planet. Let's see how far along we are. So we're at 550 already. Not quite back to where we were before. Uh, let's let's just continue our path. This is a good place to stop, but let me let me just plunge ahead a little bit more. Maybe a couple more systems before I end the episode. Not particular this this was a good system. A good new system that we have explored. But uh, maybe try and find something with a little less ice. Here, let's go. Okay. Right. Give a ping. Check for previous discoverers. Nope, I think we're on a good path this time. I think we are now in new territory. Now we've uh, discovered this one and I see an orbit. That's probably where the other star might be. Oh, that looks likely. That looks very likely. All right. But I don't get the sense that this is going to be a lucrative system. Okay, we've started to slow down, so we are finally getting closer. And this has been a long trip, so I think I will uh, stop it here. These kinds of 100,000 light second trips uh, really rob me of the time that I have. But uh, yeah, we're we're seriously exploring now. As long as uh, Sector has not been 
been already claimed by somebody else in terms of the discovery credit I think we should go do as much as possible and the goal is to get the advanced scanner I think we'll be going pretty deep into the galaxy before we turn around and head back to Kakandi to claim the credits and get that scanner though because it costs so much and so we're probably gonna have to go my estimate is probably at least 10,000 light years in before we really need to think about turning around and of course uh, the thing is you can uh, get different systems on the way back so it's, it's sort of like that but but yeah we'll have to see about that of course I guess to some extent there is a little bit more fun if you will uh, using the basic scanner and having to look for these things uh, on the other hand I constantly feel like I'm missing stuff so I mean how exactly are you supposed to spot a black hole like this for instance so I don't know the idea that I might be missing stuff is a little bit uh, worrisome okay there we go okay brown dwarf successfully explored give one more basic scanner pulse out nope okay sun got parked it here hopefully the brown dwarf will be innocuous and uh, yeah we'll continue on towards the galactic core exploring as much as we can on the way and hopefully we'll cover about 500 to 1,000 light years per episode. I'm, I'm going to aim for that. All right. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.